Hello, welcome. Now, we want to identify how we can be able to draw the small circle and the grid circle from the Earth as a sphere topic that we are dealing with. Remember, we are having a coordinate. You will be given a coordinate which will be two places. So, for example, if I have a coordinate A with 20 degrees north and let's say 30 degrees east, then another coordinate B is having 20 degrees north and 40 degrees what? west. So, to identify this on the circle or on the sphere, you make the sketch of the sphere having this as a longitude zero at the center, that's the meridian. Now, if this is given, we know all lines drawn horizontal represent the latitude. All the lines that you be drawing as a horizontal line become the latitude. All the lines that you draw to be vertical are going to be the longitude. All right. And in the coordinate also, the first uh, angle given to you is on the latitude. Then the second angle is on the longitude. So even though it is not indicated, we know that the first angle is going to be on the latitude, the horizontal line. Then the second is going to be on the vertical line, the longitude. So if I have longitude 20, sorry, latitude 20 degrees north, this is going to be the equator, which is also going to be a straight line. So the equator, that is latitude zero, the meridian, longitude zero. Then any line I drawn here become a latitude. So that could be a latitude zero degrees, uh, sorry, uh, 20 degrees. But since it is a sphere, which is a three-dimensional shape, it also has its counterpart cut off. It's a 3D. So if I cut it off, I'll be having this aspect or the below it, just like taking a football and cutting through it at the top. You see that you'll be seeing the end. Both ends is going to be a circle. That is the one we are drawing as a 3D. So this line is in front. Then the dotted line is what? Behind. So you can see if that is a circle, then its center is not going to be here. If it's a circle, the one we draw as a sphere, the center is here. So that's the center of the earth. Then with this latitude 20, let me indicate the 20 here, degrees north. Then I am going to draw the 30 degrees also to the east. So it is a vertical line. So this is going to be. So I have my 30 degrees what? East. So the intersection of both the latitude and the longitude give us the position of that point, point A. So this is going to be the point A. Right? Then if I am going to indicate this point B, which is also on the same latitude. No need to draw another latitude. It is already there. So I'll only indicate the longitude to the west. So this is going to be... I have my 40 degrees to the west. So the intersection of the latitude and the longitude also give us the point what? B. So you can see this is a representation of the position of A and B on the circle, on the surface of the earth. Right? So if we are taking the whole of this as a circle, then the line from B to the center of that circle will be a radius. From the center to B to A will also be a radius. So I can pick it out as a circle, having the center to B, center to A. Then the angle here, subtended, is going to be the angle of the two Longitude. Since it's having a common latitude, we ignore that and take the longitude. So this is going to be longitude 30 degrees east. So this here will be 30 degrees. Then we have longitude 40 degrees west. We have 40 degrees. So when the 
angled on a longitude are on different positions. That is west, east, west, east, different positions. It becomes the addition. We are adding that two angle in there to form the angle at the center, which is going to be 70 degrees. So this becomes a known diagram from a circle, a sector. How do you find the length of an arc of a sector, which is going to be the length of AB becomes theta over 360 times what? 2 pi r. And remember, I'm using a small r because that r is the radius of that small circle, but not the radius of the earth from here to any point on the latitude. So it's going to be the radius of that particular word, earth. So this is what we are going to be dealing with. So this is a small circle. If it is C on, let's say, 50 degrees south and let have uh, 30 degrees east and D is also on 50 degrees south and let's say 45 degrees what? east, what will be the representation on the globe? So I am going to also have the indication with this being the meridian zero, then I am going to locate 50 degrees south, so it means it is towards the bottom. So this line is going to be here, so 50 degrees south. Then I am going to locate 30 degrees to the east, which is going to be this line. So 30 degrees to the east, intersection will give at a point C, right? 50 degrees south, 30 degrees east. Good. Then we are going to D, which will be 50 degrees south, again, the same latitude, then 45 degrees east. You can see that it's also going to east. But this is the meridian zero. So as I am moving from the zero, I will be having the angle be expanding. Zero degrees, 10, 20, 30, in that order. So this is going to be here. Whereby I will be having this to be the 45 degrees east. The intersection of this will also be here. So CD. Now, let's complete this cycle. So what do you think the radius is going to be? Or the center? The center is going to be at this point. So I have a line from here and from here. That will be the sector representation. You can see the length of CD is going to be the arc we are having here. So I can have that also here. Center CD. Do you see that? Center CD. Radius, radius. But well, let's look at the angle. Look at the angle. The angle is from here is on 45 and 30 all to the east. So you can see we are not going to have the angle somewhere here, but they are all in this place. We are moving from the meridian. So we move all the way to 45, then we move closer. So if we can have the meridian here, have this angle, and this angle C and D, all the way from here. This first line give us 45 degrees. You know, the D is on 45, not it, from the center, uh, zero, latitude zero, moving up to D. We have 45. Then, we are now going to move from the Latitude zero to C. You see that moving from here to here is giving us what? 30 degrees here. But all this space, we don't need this space. It is a space here we need. So what would be the angle at the center? If I add 30 and 45, it could be bigger than the angle D itself. I don't know if you get the concept. Just like we did here, we add the two to have 70. This area is 30. This area is 40, uh, 45 to this place. Meaning here is just a small fraction. 
30 minus 45 will give you 15 degrees. Meaning, the angle here we are looking for will be 15. It is very small. I'm writing it small, but follow the voice. You will get it. The angle here will be 15 degrees, but not 45 plus 30, which would have given us 75. Because from the zero to the D is 45. From the zero to the C is 30. So what would be the small infraction? So anytime you have the angle that for the longitude or on the same side, you perform a subtraction. So west and west, subtraction. East and east, we perform subtraction. Is that okay? So that's how come we get the small circle. How we are able to identify the angle at the center, whether we add or we subtract. I believe this will go a long way to help you to be able to draw the various circles when they come to a small circle. The next episode, we will take how we draw the grid circle and identify their center.